guys this is a very important update about my tiger more or lily and yeah it's not good news people now first things first i should really mention that i started this youtube channel to simply document my journey with my pets so for example when i buy a new fish i'd film it if i learned something new or if i observed some unique behavior i'd make a video about it my point is i am not an expert everything i talk about is based on my own experience what i've been told or whatever research i've done which means naturally i'm going to get a few things wrong every now and then because i'm still in the learning stage myself well i guess what i'm trying to say is i was wrong and i think i've made a mistake you see i've been mentioning in my videos how peaceful my more ill is how she's never attacked anyone and she's always very friendly and humble and how in general i just can't see her ever attacking any of my fish well yeah i was definitely wrong about that for the first time my more ill has shown aggression towards other fish now if you've seen my video about the albino congo tetris getting attacked i'm still not 100 sure who's to blame but since i filmed that video one of my rainbow fish got attacked and he had a very particular bite mark that seemed to look like it came from lily now the thing is people i always knew that this could be a potential danger in my fish tank you see i'm mixing peaceful community fish with predator fish and i'm trying to make this balance work but there's always that danger that it could go wrong and you kind of just have to be prepared if you want to try something like this but i can't lie there is one thing that kind of bothers me you see this whole setup worked fine for a whole year so what was different now before we carry on guys 87 percent of my viewers are not subscribed now people i get about 100 views per video which means if i can just convince one or two of you to subscribe today you would literally bring that number down and you would honestly make my day so if you are enjoying this video please consider subscribing people it would really help me out but yeah anyway like i was saying before for people the one thing that was really bothering me with this situation is this whole setup worked perfectly fine for a whole year so what was different now and after sitting down and really thinking it through i could only really come up with two possibilities for why my more ill would suddenly start acting this aggressive so let's go through them now the first possibility of why she suddenly got this aggressive is the fact that she has grown bigger you see when i first got my more ill she was a baby and she was tiny and honestly if she tried to go after one of the rainbow fish or congo tetras or even the angel fish she probably would have injured herself because she you know she was very small and fragile however now one year later she is much bigger she's got a bit more girth on her she has a lot more strength so it could potentially mean that she might look at some of the fish and see them as potential food but although that makes sense i don't really think that was the problem because she's had snack sized tank mates pretty much the whole time she's been in there i mean the corridoras would have been an easy snack i've also had otter sinkless in there but since i've had her the only fish that ended up as snacks were my pea puffers who were really like they were genuinely snack sized so i can't really blame my more ill for that but yeah i guess the only left option number two which is her food you see usually i feed my fish tank dry food five times per week and blood worms twice per week and that is for everyone in the tank so all of my fish including my ghost knife my rope fish and my dragon goby they all eat the dry food and the blood worm so that's all of them covered when it comes to food however lily my tiger more ill she only eats the blood worms when it comes to that food she does not touch the dry food at all now naturally only eating blood worms twice per week was never going to be enough for her so i feed earthworms two to three times per week specifically just for my more ill and i give a few pieces to the other fish as well but it's mainly for the more ill so to understand my second theory we need to go back two weeks before before the attacks actually started you see i was quite busy during that time and i didn't realize i ran out of earthworms until i tried to feed lily an earthworm and i realized there were none left and honestly people this was the worst time for me you see because i work i can only really go to the fish store on the weekends and the day i realized i ran out of earthworms was like a tuesday and to make it worse that coming weekend i was very busy because i had to get ready for a trip that i was going on the following weekend because i was going to germany so that first weekend i had to sort out all of the stuff i had to do some last minute shopping in there so i didn't have time to go to the fish store and buy earthworms and like i said the following weekend i was off to germany so 
I wasn't even in the country. So I had a bit of a dilemma because I had potentially two weeks that my more eel would go without eating earthworms. It was at that moment I decided I'm going to try something out, which was to increase the amount of bloodworms I feed to the fish tank. So I went from feeding dry food five days per week to four days per week, and then the remaining three days per week are now done bloodworms. And I think even on one of the days when I put in dry food, I put one small cube of bloodworms near Lily as well, just so she gets some food that day as well, because this was the first time since I've had her where she would go a whole week without eating any kind of like earthworms and just bloodworms. And I honestly was not sure whether those bloodworms would be enough nutrition for her. However, by the end of that week, Lily seemed fine. She was not showing any signs of aggression. She wasn't chasing any fish. There was no fish turning up with bite marks or anything like that. So I thought, hey, these bloodworms might not be the best decision when it comes to nutrition and all of that. But it seems like it's a good short term solution whilst I'm busy in these two weeks. And then once I'm back from Germany, I can get some earthworms and it will all go back to normal. So when that first weekend came around, I didn't go to the fish shop, I focused on getting everything ready for my trip. And then the following week, I'd done the same thing, I fed much more bloodworms, Lily seemed fine, and then I went to my trip to Germany. Now here's the part that I didn't really think through. You see, I came back from Germany on a Monday, and I had work again the next day, on the Tuesday. So it wasn't actually two weeks that my more ill was going without earthworms, it would be three weeks because I wouldn't have time to go to the fish store until that weekend. And people, I think we really pushed the limit there because that third week when I came back from Germany, that's when all the drama started. You know, I had fish turning up with their heads missing and oh, it was an honest nightmare, people. I mean, currently, Lily took out all of my albino Congo Tetris apart from one. Keep in mind, I had like six. She also took out my rainbow fish and yeah, man, it was stress. But yeah, I'm thinking this aggressive behavior literally started because she was not getting her earthworms. Like the bloodworms were just simply not enough nutrition for her now at the time of this recording i've been to the fish stall i actually went last weekend and over this past week i've been feeding her, her earthworms again the feeding schedule is back to normal and there has been no attack since so in conclusion guys make sure you are feeding your mori eels more than just bloodworms because they can and they will attack your other fish when they're really hungry which to be fair makes sense if anything changes i'll let you know guys my tank currently is fine with no new incidents but I can't lie, the albino Congo Tetris getting their heads ripped off had me stressing. If you want to see what happened there, you can click right here.